Good morning, all dear members. I am Ritu Nagpal, Company Secretary of SG Finsurf. We welcome you all to the 29th Annual General Meeting of SG Finsurf Limited. Along with us, we have our director, Sri Rohan Gupta, other members, and other panelists who has joined either physically through VC facility provided by RTL. In accordance with relaxation provided by the Ministry of Corporate Affairs, our company is conducting this AGM the Webex, through Webex facility provided by RTA without the physical presence of the members at a common venue. All the members who have joined this meeting through the VC are by default placed on mute host to avoid any disturbance arising from the background noise and ensuring smooth and seamless conduct of this AGA. The remote e-voting facility was provided to the members to cast their votes electronically on the resolution set out in the AGM notice commenced at 10 a.m. on Saturday, September 23 and ended at 5 p.m. on Monday, on September 25, 2023. The company is also providing e-voting facility during the AGM to enable members to cast their vote who have not voted through remote e-voting. During the proceedings of AGM, members may raise query through the chat box facility provided by the RTA. Depending on the nature of the query, they will be answered either immediately or through the registered email ID of the shareholder later. If any member faces any technical issue, kindly contact helpline numbers of RTA as provided in the notice of the AGM. As the company is not having a regular chairperson on the board, it is proposed that Sri Rohan Gupta, non-executive director of the company, be elected as the chairman of the meeting. Therefore, now I request the host to initiate polling on the same so that the members may express their assent to the proposal. We will wait here for next three minutes to a point to get the polls for Rohan Gupta to elected as the chairman of this meeting. We are waiting for the poll for next three minutes. The message is, do you want to answer the poll question now? Yes, ma'am, you can do that. So, there are only two options. Not now, okay. Suppose I say yes, I uh, am okay with he to chair. So, should I press okay? Ma'am, actually, we are waiting for the members' consent. Only members, not me. Okay. okay.
Dear RTA, please publish the result. Whole result. Okay, we got 21 votes from 41 people as present members. It is noted that members present have consented to the proposal and hence it is declared that Shri Rohan Gupta is elected as the chairman of this meeting. Now I welcome Shri Rohan Gupta, sir, chairman of the 29th annual general meeting of the company. Sir, as the requisite quorum is present, I request you to kindly chair the proceeding of the meeting. Well, uh, greetings to all members of SG uh, Fencer family. I welcome you all to the 29th annual general meeting of your company and I hope that you and your family are feeling well. Before we formally proceed ahead with the meeting, I request company secretary to conduct roll call of the panelists who have joined through DC. May I request the panelists to confirm their name, their location, where he, she is participating and that none other than the concerned panelist is attending or is having access to the proceeding of the meeting. I request Mr. Anil Kumar Bansal, sir, to start. Okay. I am Anil Kumar Bansal, attending this AGM uh, from my residence in GK2 in Delhi. There is nobody other than me in this room. And uh, thank you so much. All the best. Thank you. Dear ma'am, I request you to take further. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Asha Agarwal, um, Independent Director. I'm attending this uh, AGM from uh, my residence in Mumbai. And there is no one present in this chamber other than you. I request Mr. Sahil Gupta, CFO of the company, to give their advice. Sorry, I request now Mr. Sahil Sikka, CFO of the company, to take further. Uh, I am Sahil Sikka, CFO uh, of the company, and uh, I am attending this meeting uh, from corporate office in Koshambi, uh, along with uh, the other members of uh, management. Now I further request... Shri Saurabh Dhawan, Chief Executive Officer of the company, to mark their presence. Good morning, everyone. I am Saurabh Dhawan, and I am attending this meeting from our corporate office based out of Pashambi Ghaziabad. Now, good, I guess... good morning, Ritu. I am uh, connected now. There are some issues now. I am connected. I am Dukhabandurat, independent director connected from Ahmedabad. There is, uh, I mean, morning to all of you, and I am connected, and there is nobody else uh, in the room. Uh, in uh, during the proceedings. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, sir. Now I request our uh, secretarial auditor, Mr. Kuldeep Daya, to mark his presence. Attending AGM from Delhi, and nobody else other than me has access to this meeting. Thank you. Now I request Mr. Jatin, sir, our scrutinizer, to mark their presence. Uh, good morning. I am Jatin Gupta. I am acting as scrutinizer of the company. And I am attending this meeting from Mathura from a client's location. And no one other than me has the access to present proceedings. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All the roll call is over. The chairman to introduce the panelist. Now I request Rohan, sir, to introduce the panelist. I introduce Sri Anil Kumar Bansal, chairman of audit committee, Mr. H.S.U. Kamar, chairperson of nomination and remuneration committee, Mrs. Asha Anil Agarwal, Sri Deshbandhu Rat, Independent Directors, who have joined through VC. Further, Sri Aman Agarwal, Statutory Auditor, Sri Kuldeep Dhaiya, Secretarial Auditor, and Sri Jatin Gupta, Scrutinizer, uh, have also joined through VC. Sitting along with me are Sri Saurabh Dhawan, CEO, Sahil Sikka, CFO, Anko Sagarwar, Head of uh, Customer Experience, Abhishek Mahajan, Head of Credit and Risk, and Ritu Nagpal, Company Secretary. I welcome all the panelists who have joined through VC as well as physically. The other directors of the company could not be present due to their preoccupation and travel programs. Further, as you have noted, statutory auditors, schedule auditor, and scrutinizer have joined through VC. 
I note the presence of quorum and also presence of mandatory participants like independent directors and auditors. Uh, request the quorum being present. The meeting is therefore called <coughs> to order. Now I request Sri Sharan Dhawan to give brief overview of the operations of the company during the financial year 2022 to 2023. Hey members, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. A very warm welcome and thank you for joining us at our 29th annual general meeting, which is being conducted virtually. I hope you and your family are safe and healthy. I thank all the board members, colleagues, and shareholders for joining this meeting. This is the first AGM being held post change of management of the company, which Sri Rahul Gupta and Sri Rohan Gupta take in charge. On behalf of all of you, I take this opportunity to ex express my appreciation and gratitude to all our shareholders. It is a pleasure to share our progress during the recently concluded fiscal year, which brought considerable volatility owing to global exigencies. Allow me to take you through our performance in FY23, which includes the first seven months of our operations from 1st September 2022 to 31st March 2023. That is post new management in place and further detail you with your company's vision for the future. In the first seven months of our lending business going live, we accomplished remarkable milestones, resulting in an orbitable shift in our financial performance for FI23. We built a fresh loan book of Rs 975 crores, created from scratch, with gross disbursements to the tune of 6,444 crores. We added 558 unique borrowers to our list, onboarded 19 marquee corporate anchors. Our operating income was 41.45 crores and our net interest income was 31.83 crores. We achieved profit before provision and tax of 28.92 crores. Your company has been established with the core focus of providing supply chain finance solutions to MSMEs of the country. Our business model has been constructed by deriving comfort of major large corporate anchors like APL Apollo Group, Vedanta Group, including Hindustan Zinc and Balco, Okomobiles, Kajaria Tires, Reddington, Kirloskar, Jindal Steel and Power, Dorset Lock, Shalimar Paints, Pryak Polymers, etc., with a watertight agreement to stop supply to their dealers, distributors in case of them defaulting on their borrowing with SGFL. This is a strong, this is a strong comfort. The borrowers continue to be extremely disciplined. As a result, the performance of our portfolio continues to be robust with nil delinquencies. The portfolio is well spread with exposure equally divided amongst all zones, north, south, west, and east, and well spread across all major states of the country. At year end, our net debt was Rs. 492 crores against equity of Rs. 573 crores. Thus, leverage was less than 1x. Our key ratios, return on assets and return on equity, were 5.9% and 8.4% respectively. FI23 was critical for the organization as we infused stability, which I am confident will go a long way in strengthening our sustainability fabric. We onboarded extremely experienced bankers from well-established banks like Kotak, HDFC, ICICI, Indusind, etc., to fill in key positions within the organization. The invaluable expertise and experience they bring to the organization will be pivotal to our sustainable business growth. We developed and launched a 100% digital platform for our financing activities. We developed the LOS and the LMS solutions for a seamless end-to-end -end digital journey, leading to best-in-class customer ex experience. We established our presence in strategic locations, placed experienced representatives in 14 key locations, Pan-India, conducting physical meetings before any disbursements to the borrower. Importantly, we are not following faceless lending. In doing so, we've set the base for a scalable business model. We will continue to enhance 
our customer base by leveraging our relationship with existing anchors and will endeavor to add new well established anchors india's ambition of emerging as the global manufacturing hub rests squarely on the msmes they play a pivotal role in nation building and economy's growth with india fervent on its ambition of emerging as the global manufacturing hub and taking its economy past 1 trillion dollar mark msme's role in growth will be decisive despite the critical role played by msme's pro in india's progress currently and foreseeable for future the issue of fund deficiency persists these credible realities will likely throw up a thora of opportunities for msme financing partners like us considering the above prospects over the medium term appear to be considerably promising fi24 should see your company scale new heights going to an increase in top tier anchors in pre selected industries the strategic geographical expansion in new locations seamless tech platform solutions and requisite team being in place further with a solid capital base and low leverage of less than 1 and holding an external rating of double a by an established external agency crisis we shall be able to raise further debt with ease and expand our business further also i firmly believe your company is capable of dealing with the challenges posed by evolving and uncertain environments and is well positioned well positioned to leverage the opportunities available as a team we will persist persistently explore ways to improve our prospects over the coming years i take this opportunity to express the management's gratitude to all the stakeholders the members authorities governments customers suppliers business associates lenders and employees we hope to get continued support from all the stakeholders including the members to achieve growth and prosperity for all thank you very much now i request company secretary to take up notice auditors report is it the register of directors and key managerial person and their shareholding as maintained in persons of section 170s of the companies act and the register contracts as per section 189 are made available for inspection by the members on the website of the company there is a link available on the login for inspection of the documents which can be clicked for accessing the above documents notice may I May I, with the permission of members, take the notice dated 11th May 2023, convening the 29th Annual General Meeting, along with the board reports and its annexure as read. Annual report and notices are available on the website of the company as well as on the website of the RTI. The auditor's report issued by AKGVG and Associates, Chartered Accountants, on the financial statements of the company for the financial year ended 31st March 2023, do not contain any qualifications, observations, or comments or other remarks, and hence are taken as read in pursuance of the relevant provisions of the Companies Act 2013. Now, with the permission of Chairman, I take up the agenda items. Item number one is to receive. Consider and adopt the audited financial statements for the financial year ended March thirty first, twenty twenty three, together with the reports of board of directors and auditors thereon. The proposed resolution is placed before the meeting to be passed as ordinary resolution. To appoint a director in place of Sri Rahul Gupta. who is eligible to retire by rotation and being eligible offer himself for the reappointment the proposed resolution is placed before the meeting to be passed as ordinary resolution now the members may raise their queries if any in the chat box further the shareholders who have read pre-registered their names may if present speak now I request the host RTA to unmute the members. The video may also be enabled with the permissions. 
Due to paucity of time, I request the speaker to confine the speech to maximum one to two minutes. Our speaker shareholders named are Mr. Naveen Bhotra, Mr. Ajay Kumar Jain, and Mr. Praveen Kumar. Dear RTA, please unmute. Uh, Kumar, please you can ask your question. Video is not coming. I think video is not enabled. No problem, sir. Your voice is audible to us. You can okay. ask it. Yes. Uh, Naveen Bhotra, pleasure attending the 29th AGM from Delhi and the first uh, AGM under the new management. Uh, it's a pleasure to attend the uh, AGM of the company virtually. Uh, a very warm greetings to our chairman, Rohan Gupta, sir and the other esteemed board members presenting this meeting, uh, and also uh, uh, management team led by Mr. Saurav and Sahil. Uh, very warm greetings to all. Uh, first of all, congratulations to the management team on achieving good set of operating numbers in a very short period of seven months uh, during uh, the last financial year. Congratulations to the management team. Uh, we, as long-term shareholders, do look forward for the continuous growth-led wealth creation model in SD FinServe also, the, for which APL Apollo Group is highly applauded. We also look forward to the same uh, management bandwidth and the wealth creation journey uh, uh, along with the sustainable growth model continuing here in SD FinServe also. So I have the following points for learned views of our CEO, our CEO Saurabh, uh, Saurabh Dhawan. Uh, in your message to the shareholders, you have uh, said that the overall overall supply chain ecosystem in, in India is worth around dollar four fifty billion and growing exponentially. So, in light of this, uh, would like to request you to kindly share your thought process thought process on the giant leap which we are planning to take in SG Finster and our uh, likely market share in the niche segment of supply chain financing or uh, in the MSME segment uh, in the coming three to five years time, uh, uh, what market share and AUM we are, uh, we are likely to achieve in the coming five years time. Uh, Mr. Toro, kindly share your perspective. It will be quite useful. And second one is regarding the use of latest technology, uh, latest technology, the DPI rails in India, the DPI rails in India, uh, as in the, uh, Annual report, we have said that, that to script a rewetting journey, uh, rewetting journey ahead, uh, would request you to kindly share your views on how we are planning to harness the harness the potential of India's DPI rail, India stake, India stake, with uh, and uh, to harness all these. Uh, digital platforms and all, uh, to ex exponentially scale up our business and provide a better seamless experience to our customers going ahead. So would like to have your views how we are planning to harness this uh, DPI rails of uh, which we have created in India and also uh, it is in, in the recent G20 meetings we are planning to scale all these things uh, worldwide also. So uh, your views will be uh, Highly appreciated for the and uh, as also the uh, as also uh, harnessing the ever increasing ever increasing power of AI AI um, ML along with the generative AI which is gaining traction day by day. Kindly share your view. In our aspirations to be one of the catalysts of India growth story. We expect the team under Saurabh's leadership and the able guidance of the board members and chairman, uh, chairman uh, leadership to work. Thank you so much, Naveen ji. I'll answer it in three parts. Your first question is about the giant leap industry, and two is digital initiatives, and three is uh, usage of AI. As envisaged in my initial thoughts shared with all of you, uh, key factors like China plus one, and with India becoming major manufacturing hub for the globe, 
our internal consumption and growth are key drivers for india becoming a us 1 1 trillion dollar economy as we grow there is much and more uh, for all manufacturing companies of the country with demand for financing being always directly proportional to output and growth our msme space continues to be less penetrated with all major banks and fis focusing on large corporates and metro cities however with players like us financing has become more reachable to all and thus considering the available market size as we always say that it is billions of dollars that we should continue to grow quite decently year on year you will refer our q1 fi24 investor presentation we have given our guidance on fi24 and fi25 numbers wherein we envisage to achieve wherein we target to achieve a um of 2000 crores in fi24 and 3100 crores in fi25 so as per our current estimates and new anchor tie up we are pleased to inform you that the current estimates are intact and we shall be we shall be able to achieve the same in fi fi25 onwards we feel that we will continue to grow at least 30% upwards there are number of factors in that first we going to get growth from existing dealers with increase of market size addition of new dealers from existing anchors and three importantly addition of new anchors another important factor to consider when placing us with other fis is that we are into working capital finance and no term loan lending in term loan lending at least 25 to 30% of your book gets paid off year on year that means every year if you have to grow by 30% you will actually need to build a new book of 50% plus but in our case when it is working capital it keeps on increasing so it is a more uh, it is a more uh, pivotal business which will continue to go grow on steady basis thus 30% growth uh, seems quite achievable to you rightly mentioned uh, the usage of digital public infrastructure if we go back to pre covid times or even up to calendar year 20 we could have never thought of 100% digital underwriting and onboarding borrower journey so that was never even thought of however opening of dpi especially the aadhar portal itr portal gst portal and banking apis have made this possible in our current operations we are pleased to inform that we make use of all such available apis and have enabled us to deliver uh, quickly as well as accurately to our customers again power of ai you rightly mention that it is something which is ever increasing the more and more that we work upon ai the better output we shall receive so we are working on the same majorly in two aspects building our internal credit rating model scoring model which will be helpful at the time of credit assessments b monitoring of portfolio to develop early warning triggers based on data such as market trends industry trends disbursement repayment and comparison with other borrowers thus the team team is extremely cognizant of the use of ai and will stand formative to scale our operations to less and breadth of the country considering the support that it will garner in credit assessment as well as credit monitoring so all the three aspects uh, market share as well as uh, usage of dpi and ai uh, we cognizant and we are working on it on every day basis and improving on it means i hope we answered your queries thank you saurabh sir for the brief background and what we are doing for the company now mr hsu kamath our independent director has just joined us i want a warm welcome to to give warm welcome to him sir please mark your presence thank you i am hsu kamath joining the agm from my place uh, in the state of kerala thank you thank you so much sir further i request rta to unmute other two speaker shareholder 
Mr. Ajay Kumar Jain. He is not in the meeting, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. Can we shift to next, Mr. Praveen Kumar? He is also not, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Now, may I request our independent directors to say a few words about the company? I want to start with Asha, ma'am. Um, uh, I've, I've been with this company as independent director uh, for uh, about six months, means two quarters of last financial year, and have seen the team, uh, uh, Saurabh, Sahil, and uh, Abhishek, and other people, they are working very hard and uh, using technology and uh, all other possible modes to see that uh, the company grows well and uh, the finances uh, are secured and uh, the company is able to uh, deliver uh, in, a, in, in a progressive manner. So I thank everyone, uh, the team, uh, the management and uh, everyone who is working for the company. I'm very glad to be part of this company. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your kind words. I request Anil, sir, to proceed further. Yeah, thank you, Ritu, for the opportunity. Now, I'm connected uh, with this company from day one, and I must admire the vision of Mr. Sanjay Gupta, who is the chairman, who is the chairman of the flagship company, Apollo Tubes. And, and uh, he, he thought that, let's start this, and the company has begin well. Uh, Rohan has taken the chair and the uh, able staff at all level uh, has been uh, deployed and they're doing wonderfully well, including Saurabh, Sahil, Abhishek and the entire team. Uh, as a board uh, member, we try to keep a vigilance, uh, a vigilant eye on the processes. And uh, fortunately, the system are quite robust as of today in the beginning and uh, compliance has a cost but the company has uh, done it very happily and uh, till now we, we are going strong way my best wishes to the company and to the shareholders thank you so much thank you sir thank you now i request the pandu sir to say a few words uh, good morning uh, sri rohan gupta chairman uh, my fellow independent directors team of the management, Saurabh, Sahil, Abhishek, and also Ritu. It has been a pleasure really to be associated with SG Finsov. I am with the company for the last uh, uh, two quarters. Let me be very, let me be very candid uh, that uh, I have been thoroughly impressed uh, uh, by the clarity that has been brought to discussion by the team of management uh, led by Saurabh, Sahil, Abhishek, and also Ritu. Uh, the response has been very prompt. The clarity has been well articulated and also carried forward. And uh, I mean, the numbers that have been shared by Surav, I think this speaks of the phenomenal progress made by the company at a very short, uh, very, very short period. And also the guidance note, I have no doubt in my mind with the type of progress that has been shown in the short period. So the guidance note for 2024 and also 2024 would definitely become a reality. I'm quite uh, sanguine that in the days to come, not only uh, the target set for 2024 and 2025 uh, will be achieved, but they will be very surpassed. The, my fellow independent directors, Bansalji, Asaji, and also Kamarji, and I myself, we have uh, always made a very humble and honest uh, attempt uh, to supplement uh, the thought process in the company, in the deliberations, so that I think uh, SG Finsorp achieves a niche position in the market, in the uh, NBFC market, of, of which uh, it richly deserves. My best wishes are with uh, the chairman and the team and also the management and the team. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Now I request Kamath, sir, to say a few words. Yes, sir. 
uh, opportunity. Let me at the outset express uh, for having joined a little late on account of connectivity issues. Uh, I'm in my native village where the connectivity is not great. So my apologies to each one of you, uh, you know, out there. Uh, okay. I am uh, the recent uh, person, recent joined, recent member to have, you know, joined the uh, board of this uh, August company. So I'm only a few months old. Uh, but whatever little I have seen thus far uh, has indeed impressed me. We have an excellent, young, energetic, uh, and well-informed, uh, you know, top management team. Uh, I had uh, the opportunity to look at the tech platform, uh, which is, uh, you know, being developed. Uh, in my humble view, it is very robust. And in the days to come, uh, you know, we can still build upon uh, uh, that. Uh, the level of compliance and governance within the small period of time that uh, I am associated with this company uh, is excellent. Uh, and of course, in all things that we do, there is always scope for, uh, you know, improvement. As we, uh, you know, go forward, the senior management team, the promoters, and the independent directors, uh, you know, put together, uh, you know, we will try and do our level best and uh, uh, try to, uh, you know, do total justice uh, to the uh, shareholders of uh, the company. Uh, I'm sure uh, the numbers that are placed before you for financial year 2023 uh, has impressed you like it has impressed me. Uh, this company has... Uh, in a short span of time, built, uh, you know, very good numbers. It has already moved from a uh, base level NBFC to a middle level, uh, uh, you know, uh, layer NBFC. I am sure in the days to uh, come and the years to follow, uh, we will progress by leaps and bounds. Uh, let us be a part of, uh, you know, this uh, growth journey. Thank you once again. And let me wish uh, the promoters, the chairman, and the entire, uh, you know, senior management team of the company, all the very best. God bless all. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Now I want to inform you that the question which was raised in the chat box will be replied through the mail at the registered, of, registered email address of the company via re, re, reply. So thank you so very much, sir and madam for sharing your thought with us. Now, members who have not cast their remote e-voting or e-voting during the preceding of the AGM are requested to kindly vote on the proposed resolutions. When these preceding conclude, the voting window as available on your login will be capped login for the next 15 minutes during which all the members present and have not voted earlier through remote e-voting can cast their votes now. Once the voting is over, Sri Jachin Gupta, the our supervisor, will present his report to the chairman and the result on voting would be declared within 48 hours of the conclusion of the meeting and the same shall be posted on the website of the company and shall also be disseminated to the stock exchange. Now, I request Sri Sahil Sikkaji, the CFO, to propose a vote of thanks to the chairman. It is my honor and privilege now to give a vote of thanks to all those members who have believed in the company so far and made this AGM remarkable. The year gone by, although was tough, was satisfying for us in terms of establishing ourselves and achieving the numbers we targeted. On behalf of the company, I wish to express my feelings that we would not have achieved this feat without the trust of our shareholders. Thank you to our members, directors, company secretary, auditors and secretarial auditors for working hard to make this happen. I am again grateful to each and every one of you. One last time, I would like to express my appreciation to everyone who helped SG FinServe soar greater heights. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. I hope that uninterrupted video and audio was available during the meeting to the panelists and the members through VC. Now, I request the chairman to formally conclude the meeting. I extend my special thanks to the members present, the board of members, auditors, scrutinizer for attending this AGM and CBSL, e-voting agency, and Skyline Financial Service Private Limited for providing the platform for successful conducting this meeting. And I declare the meeting as officially concluded. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, members. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.
Thank you. Bye-bye.